It is Heart FM. All right, so you've heard about the fact that PJ Morton is coming to Cape Town, coming to South Africa. And on the Cape Town leg, myself and Lunga Singama have been tasked with... uh, (laughs) coming up with the opening act for PJ Morton. Earlier on, you would have heard Lunga Singama talking about or talking to his uh, opening act, well, his uh, first act that he's got. Of course, we've got three acts each. They go head to head at a showcase uh, next week, in fact, and then the following uh, couple of weeks, it all leads up to the opening for PJ Morton. The winner of that showcase, of course, will be opening for PJ Morton in South Africa, in Cape Town. Earlier on, Lunga had Sarah Jane Thomas in studio. I now have my first act in studio and I welcome Cherie Peterson back to the show. How are you? Hi, guys. (laughs) Thank you so much for having me. It is so good to see you again. Uh, I had you in for the spotlight and we got to delve deep into your music and all of that. So that was Yeah, just so awesome. And I'm so happy to be back. I wanted to ask, how excited are you to be one of the six contenders? Honestly, it Mm. doesn't even feel real. It doesn't feel real to me. Um, I'm super, super excited. Um, I didn't expect it at (laughs) all. Um, So yeah, this is this is definitely something special. I must say, uh, I heard Lunga say earlier that Sarah Jane Thomas was one of the first names that came to his mind. To be honest with you, I think you were probably one of the first names to come to <laughs> to come into my mind. You and the second artist who I'm going to reveal in a short while. I'm not going to get into all the trash talk that Lunga got into earlier, okay? Because Lunga's whole thing was, Sarah Jane Thomas, you're gonna win, you're gonna win. Lunga, you got two other acts, buddy. Yeah. You're forgetting about those guys. Yeah, be All careful. Right? Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So listen, I, I'm going to let whatever happens on stage do the talking, okay? Uh, but Cherie Peterson, it is so good to have you and it's so good to Thank have you, so you part much. of my team. I'm so excited, Paul. Super excited and so honored. Thank you. Thank you again. Are you a big fan of PJ Morton? I am indeed. Um, there's, there's one of the songs that he covered um, with Yeba. Mm, um, how, how Deep, deep is, is Your love? love? There we go. And yeah. that one, I think, was something that I've always been listening to. Okay. Love his vibe, love his voice. And yeah, this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, cool. For those who don't know, for those who weren't listening to The Spotlight when we had you on, just tell us about you getting into music. I mean, how long you've been in the game and and when you got your first break. Sure. Um, so I actually come from a musical family um, anyway, um, but I think that it all started for me in the church. Mm. And I think with a lot of artists, it starts in the church. It does. You know, and... Um, and there's some incredible talent in the church There as is, well. definitely. Um, and sometimes I think it takes people that's close to you, and mine was the people that was in my church that pushed me, you mm. know, to, to write songs and to do more with this gift. Um, that I have so I've been I think I've been doing music for very long like writing songs I would say for like eight years Mm -hmm. Um, eight years nine years but I released my first song in 2020 yes like in the heart of COVID Um, I released my first song and today I'm sitting with five five original songs I can't believe that I got to five, but hopefully next it's a CD. Mm. It was Shine. Album. It was Shine, right? No, no, no. First song was Sweet Name of Jesus. Okay. Um, Yeah, I mean, Shine was the first one we had at heart. Yes, yes, yes. yes. At Mm. at heart, it was the first one, and that one was definitely out of my comfort zone. um, Because my first two songs were... it's. Christian songs. Mm. Um, Shine was the more upbeat, um, inspirational song. Yes. So it was definitely out of my comfort zone. But I think that's a song that maybe brought Shuri out mm. more and more people kind of got to know who I am. Absolutely. Yeah, the other one song. was Milk and Honey, wasn't it? Yes. yes. At the time, you, you know, uh, the, the two Christian songs that you brought out. Yes, yes. Mm. And um, I think Milk and Honey was also one that a lot of people... Um, kind of felt you know with me absolutely all right we're gonna play milk and honey in a short while so stick around for that Um, but 
was it difficult when you transitioning from something you know you say that shine was out of your comfort zone so was it difficult transitioning from something you know as in christian music to yeah. more secular type of music even though it is a very inspirational song yeah so so for me look i i will always stay true to who i am mm. and christian music will always be my go-to music yeah. it will always be the songs that i you know am more comfortable with but I think as, a, as an up-and-coming artist, you need to kind of put yourself out there. You need to take yourself out of that comfort zone. It, for me, it was easy in a way, uh, maybe because I love the, the whole, um, um, just the whole upbeat side of it, yes. you know, which was completely new to me. But definitely something, it was difficult, but also easy at the same time, you know. Okay. And it was so me, you know, it was still me. It was still Shiri staying true to herself. And how was that feeling? Amazing. When you were able to listen to your song on Heart FM. <gasps> oh my goodness. <laughs> um, I think that my family um, can stand with me on this one. When we first heard the song, mm. and I think we first heard it, um, it was a, it's not called a chart chaser on the top 40. Hit um, prediction. What, hit prediction. Yes. And I was like, what? That was insane. <laughs> it was crazy, crazy, crazy for us. And it was a celebration moment, even mm. though, you know, it, it didn't get to the top 40 at that time. Yes. But just playing on but, Heart FM. But it was on was, the SA Top 10, right? It was on both, actually. Yes. But, but I mean, at the time when we yes. first heard it on okay. Heart FM, like it was just like party time, guys. Yes. <laughs> celebration time. No, it's it's amazing. And, and every artist I talk to actually say the same thing. They never yeah. really get tired of it. I yeah, think even yeah. the big artists, they don't get tired of having yeah. their songs. You shouldn't on radio. actually. No. You shouldn't get tired of it. I mean, it's it's, like, it's the it's the passion of of what you're doing. Exactly. Mm. I'm, I mean, you put so much into every song. Well, I'm I'm sure most artists do. Most artists will, especially those up and coming artists, we will write our own songs, and it's based on maybe personal experiences or whatever. Mm. It's time that you put in. Of course, like you'll be super excited when something like that happens. And you're a wife, mom. A wife, so a mom to two. It's how difficult is it to juggle? How old are the two? So, so I have two. Um, my girl, Kiara, she is 12, turning 13. Okay. She's so gifted, but yeah. Um, <laughs> and um, <laughs> let me, let me so not gifted, go yeah. there. <laughs> let me not go there now. Uh. Um, and my son, um, it's a huge age gap. He will actually be one next <gasps> month. Oh yeah, his, his birthday is actually the day after PJ Morton's um, concert. Oh, wow. So, I mean, what a great gift what to him. What a great gift, gift indeed. Him, you know? <laughs> Absolutely vote for this lady. Uh, no, it's all about the judges. They, they're the ones you got to impress. So, yeah. what can we expect on stage? Um, let's just go through what you have at the moment. There was Higher with King Smasher. There was Shine. Mm -hmm. There's Milk and Honey. There's Wave of Love, which is the current single out at the moment. Yes. What are you going to do on stage? And uh, what are you going to do anything differently? Have you thought about this? I've definitely thought about it already. And I would love to change up two of the songs. Okay. Um, so Milk and Honey, as well as Wave of Love. I would love to change it up into a more jazzy, R&B, soul Ooh. kind of a feel. I don't know if I'll get it right, but that's definitely something I've been thinking about. Okay. And yeah, hopefully it will pay off in the end. Yeah. And I, I, Lunga was saying um, earlier, oh, I talking about Sarah Jane Thomas. I know you're going to win. I know you're going to win. <laughs> I know that the winner is going to come from my team. Yeah, no, definitely. I know that because I've, we I've told you about <laughs> another artist that I have yeah. already lined up. Yes, yes. And you're excited about them Super as well. Super excited. Super excited. For sure. So uh, I'm just I'm I'm just putting it out there. But I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to trash talk. I'm just gonna say the winner's coming from this team. Yeah. And I'm with you on that. You were you were the first name <laughs> that I thought of. So I'm really Thank really so glad to have you on my team. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful. Thank you. Okay. So next week it is going to. Are you nervous? Um. I think it's normal to be nervous. Yes. Uh, and yes, I, I am <laughs> okay. definitely nervous. I think if I wasn't feeling nervous, there's a problem. Yes. You know, so, and like, I think when I'm nervous, somehow, like, the best is brought out mm -hmm. in me. Um, I don't know if that even makes sense, but I kind of have to push myself. I to think you concentrate more. You don't do. You? you do. Yeah. You do. But, but like, I will kind of, like, try to bring out the better side of me in yes. those, like, 
hectic moment so i'm very nervous i'm not even gonna lie do you enjoy performing i do enjoy performing um but like mostly it, it happens in church you know yes. for me um i've i've been on other shows already i've been on on expresso more than once mm. i've been on like um Quirkies with Jonathan Rubain. I've been on Tis and Owens, you yeah. know, with Tracy Lang. So I've I've done those things. Yeah. But um really, really um excited to yeah, to do this. Very, excited. very, very cool. I am so glad to have you on my team. So Thank there you. we go. My first uh contestant we should say uh sheree peterson she is part of my team so there you go after day one you have uh sarah jane thomas on lunga singama's team and you got sheree peterson on my team tune in tomorrow and thursday to find out who the remaining contestants are and uh, of course it all goes head to head uh, next week as we put them all on a stage and we let the judges decide who it is going to be who opens up for pj morton and tell you what if you would like to be part of that event and you would also like to be part of uh, the pj morton concert in all, in terms of going to the concert and getting some tickets then what you need to do on the whatsapp line right now is send me a whatsapp uh, 082 1049 i would like to know from you uh, who my first uh, contestant is, who I have been chatting to. And if uh, it's, it should be very, very easy if you've been listening for the last 10 minutes. So uh, make sure that uh, you send it through to 082 1049 along with your name. And uh, I will pick somebody from the WhatsApp line and make them a winner of those tickets. And uh, also a chance for you to come to the event next week as well. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you. Paul. Cool.